Hey, what's going on you guys? In this video, it's going to be a different kind of video. I know you see my face in this other screen. You're like, hey, what the hell is he doing? Reacting to his own videos? Yeah, but we're going to add a little twist to it. This is going to be kind of a story time of like how I flew to Los Angeles by myself. And like for the first, first time. We're going to talk about my first trip to LA for the first time. So before I play this video, how I purchased the plane ticket out of like a donation from like one of my followers on TikTok. You know, like he went crazy this night. Like it, it was like the craziest live stream I've ever had. Where I was just sitting there and there was like gold mine after gold mine. I'm like, oh shit, that was very, very nice. So you know, it was the best live, one of the best live streams I've ever had. What happened like a year ago, and um, after that, I realized how much money I made. And like a few days later, I decided, you know what? Let me just purchase a plane ticket. You know, because I had like another like three hundred dollars, four hundred dollars on me. I can't remember the exact how much the exact amount, but I just decided to purchase the plane ticket, and I purchased it. And, you know, I told my parents, hey, I'm flying to L.A. And, you know, they were super surprised. And I was super surprised that, you know, I decided to go on my own. And, you know, they're going to continue to watch this video. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be very long. It's 43 minutes long. So hopefully it's not going to be too long. You know, get a bong out. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. What's going on, you guys? This is going to be a very, very long vlog. I'm going to Los Angeles today. Right now, it's about early in the morning right now. I'm, I'm just started packing up and stuff like that. Um, I guess I'll show you guys my suitcase, everything I'm packing up and stuff. And, you know, I'm very excited. I, it's later in the morning. I'm dressed up. I recorded my YouTube videos for a very late, very last time. And I played my instruments for the very last time. And I, Yeah, word. I was like, damn, I'm going to be out for like five days. <laughs> five days. I mean I, I mean, I hope I find like a music store out there or something. That way I can get a little bit playing in. You know, you know. That didn't happen. <laughs> I'm gonna be on vacation, so I'm excited for this. Newark Airport is very small, y'all. <laughs> I was hella nervous after I um went checked into TSA pre, and I was like, shit, where am I gonna go? All right, guys, I made it to the airport. Now I'm just chilling. You know, I'm gonna sit here for about an hour or so until the plane plane starts to board. You know. I'm gonna get myself something to eat because I'm sober as fuck now and I don't know if I wanna go on a five hour flight. Oh yeah, word. I tried to pregame as hard as I could. Like Newark Airport is a two hour drive, and no matter how hard I pregame, by the time I get to the airport, I am sober. I'm like, damn bro, like that was all for nothing. Unless maybe I popped an edible, but then I'm still gonna wanna take a nap in the car, low key, and wake up sober. Sober and wide awake. I want to, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know. It's like, I could just grab a couple of drinks or so, but I don't know. Let me see what I decide. That didn't happen. I just realized I have a little less than 25 minutes, so I might not grab any drinks. I might just do drinks on the plane, you know, if I get, you know. That didn't happen either. I serve, you know, good drinks on the plane because I don't want any trashy shit, whatever. But let me see what I can do. Yo, that line was hella long. I was standing there for like damn near an hour, bro. Yep, I said it took forever to get on the plane. I took it all. Goodbye, East Coast. I mean, I know. I can't see shit. I don't know why I'm going to guys when I get to the airport. One more hour. That flight was like five and a half hours long. Woo! Yo, the views looked so nice when I first looked out the window. I was like, God damn! I was lost as fuck in the airport and I, and I hopped on a random shuttle and I just walked out through here, a little low key. Now I'm waiting for my Uber. I got my luggage and all that stuff. You know what I mean? All I have to do is wait for my Uber. I'm pretty sure it's coming right now. So I'll see you guys when I get to the Airbnb. Bye. Yo, guys, what's going on? I'm in my Airbnb. Yeah, when I first flat walked in that Airbnb, I was like, yo, I'm having a good time. Guys it was kind of a long process for this one because, you know, this lady had like two other people staying here. But yeah. A bit of a tour. I'm just gonna give you guys a, room, a tour of the room I'm sleeping in. I'll give you guys the entire Airbnb tour in the morning because it's like midnight. 
I mean, maybe. I might just, I'll, I'll just walk around the room and I'll just show you guys. I'll try to be as quiet as possible, but. So this is gonna be the bed I'm gonna sleep at. It's so comfortable. Yeah, I remember that like shit. Now. And, and it looks really, really nice. Like, I really like this Airbnb a lot, you know? Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna go out and grab something to eat and smoke because I have not smoked in like fucking eight mm, hours. Shit, yo, the yo, memories are coming back. Night. Yo, I remember this shit. I would walk out of the Airbnb in the middle of the night and I was like, yo, I am in LA for the first time. And I'm just like that while everybody's trying to go to sleep. It's like 12.30 at night, Pacific Standard Time. So it is almost 1 a.m. So I know it's probably like four o'clock at Eastern times. So you know what I mean? I'm surprised I'm wide awake, you feel me? That's because I only fell asleep on a plane for an hour but yo look how empty these streets are yo it's a vibe at night bro it's a different vibe yo look at these palm trees y'all this insane yo i'm not even intoxicated yet i'm stole i'm i'm dead sober if y'all want <laughs> i'm dead cold sober i have not smoked in 12 yes, hours y'all. so i am fiending i'm walking to a gas right. station right now I don't remember. well it was 7-eleven supposedly this one's 24 hours so I'm gonna grab a lighter. Hopefully I can grab papers if they have any. Or or a blunt wrap, worst case scenario, but fuck it. We I went to 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven was like my best friend in LA because there were no bodegas. Trying to get right. I have a little bottle of wine on me, a little mini bottle of wine from the Airbnb. So we're gonna get right before we go to sleep. Good morning, guys. Just waking up. You know what I mean? First full day in LA. I'm excited. You know what I mean? I'm gonna take a shower. I just brushed my teeth just now, you know what I mean? You can tell I just woke up about 10 minutes ago, so I'm excited. Right now it's about 8, 11 Pacific time, you know, so back at home it's probably like 11 a.m. Pacific time, I mean, Eastern time. So I'm gonna get ready to go to the semester because I'm in I remember my first time getting on one of those buses. It was back at, um, when coronavirus was still at its peak. They let me on for free. But nowadays, the last uh, last time I went to LA, they started charging it. I'm like, damn, bro. But damn, that, those free bus rides came in clutch. I was just gonna look at the menu before I was gonna go to the dispensary. I honestly could have looked at weed maps, but I did not like looked at weed maps at all. Because last night I did like you know try to pick it, you know place an order, but honestly I'm gonna see if I can just go there blindly, you know, see if they could just you know let me walk in and just pick out their stuff, you know. And if they do, let's see how much shit I can get for two hundred dollars. I kind of missed those sunglasses. I gotta buy another pair. To be exact. So I'll see you guys after this dispo okay i officially decided to go to santa monica pier for the oh uh, shit i didn't even show you all the products yo the first time at the dispo um i went to med men and i can't remember the products i brought for the first time but i remember for sure it was med men and uh near lax okay and you know i might go to Sim I'm, uh, I'm sorry guys yeah, I was stuttering so much on one of my first times I'm, vlogging. I stuttered all over the place because I hit my cart, and I'm kind of- Oh yeah, it was also my first time hitting real, real weed from Cali. Been rushed at the same time, but I'm gonna go to Malibu after that, so I might, I might go to Malibu after that, but it's gonna be an hour ride to get to Santa Monica Pier, and another hour ride to get to Malibu if I wanna go to Malibu, so I'll see you guys when I get there. Yo, it looks so nice. All right, guys, I made it to the Santa Monica Pier. This is what it's looking like from behind me. It just arrives pretty much. It looks like it's going. I see the Ferris wheel going. It just looks like it's packed here. So who knows? I might try to get on a couple of rides. Who knows before I smoke? I don't know. I'm gonna try to. If not, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm like making up my mind, but let's see what happens. Let's see. <laughs> Look at that kid waving in the back. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. <laughs> oh, let's rewind real quick. So, who knows? I might try to get on a couple of rides. Who knows before I smoke? I don't know. I'm gonna try to. If not, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm like making up my mind, but. Hey, let's here see we go. <laughs> what happens? Hey, let's wait. See, let's see what happens and enjoy our time. I mean, my time. <laughs> The, the pier and the carnival was all for kids, and um, they were charging a, a scheme and old prices. I'm like, hell no, nah, I'm going to the arcade instead. Oh, 
this part is kind of awkward because I just left the camera there. I didn't know there were like a lot of little kids around. Like, I don't know. Well, I'm going to see like a little girl come to the camera. We're going to probably just get this part because it's kind of boring. Yeah, like, see, like, I didn't even turn around and shit. I just, I was dead focused on the game. <laughs> See the lady notice the camera. That's she pointed at the camera. Yeah, I definitely saw the basketball. Well, let's get this part. Yo, know, guys, the beach is very, very nice. I'm definitely coming back here. Um, probably tomorrow or um, Sunday for a beach day, either here or Venice Beach. I have not been to Venice Beach yet. I know Venice Beach is a little bit closer, but that was my first time tomorrow in or the next day I might go to Venice Beach. Who knows? Uh, let's see if I can go on an adventure to Malibu. Oh my God, Malibu is beautiful. On, that was on the shuttle bus that goes straight to Malibu, and yo, that shit is busted. Yo, Malibu looks so nice, y'all. That's the pier that we had to walk all the way to. Yo, it feels so good out here. Like, it's not, like people be like, oh, are you sweating or anything? It's not musky hot outside like New York City. It's the opposite, brother. Like, it's probably because I'm next to the ocean, probably. But, other than that, that ain't matter because it feels so nice out here. You feel me? Up here in Malibu. It's my very first time out here in Malibu. It's, you know what I mean? <clears throat> it's a fishing area where people can fish as well. I didn't know that, but, you know what I mean? It's lit, you know? So, I need mean, a license yeah. to fish. Or be that. You feel me? Like, look how like blue the water is, brother. Like, it's good. See that in New York City. New York City is gray. Yeah, <laughs> I'm playing. I'm fucking dead. I'm gonna go see if I can find like a nice little rocky area so we can smoke by and I need some bathroom first. So give me a minute. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. Oh damn, I didn't even show y'all everything I did after after that. So how I came to here, after the pier, I um went to use the bathroom, then I chilled at the pier for a little bit longer, went to the Malibu beach area, I walked around and explored the entire area. It looked so nice. I don't know why I didn't even record any of that. But um, it was like a little area close to the beach where it was like a gardening area where people would like take a tour around and see like different buildings and shit. But um, after that, I went to this dispensary that was in Malibu that I brought these hash, uh, ice water hash edibles that were called space gummies. You saw this on Yola's video before, uh, or Dope as Yola mentioned this before. Like, they're pretty dope as fuck. Like, I ate, like, I, I ate one or two gummies, didn't taste nothing. So I'm like, alright, this tastes mad good, but then I came back mad. I came back to my Airbnb so high, like, I don't even remember how I got back, because I got back. I remember walking in my Airbnb, and the lady saw me, and she was like, oh, you you, you look high. Like, she was looking at me like, I was like, like I'm like, yeah, you're, I definitely know you're baked, you know what I'm saying? Hi, but I'm pretty good. I feel Damn, good. look how red my eyes were. Drink some more. Yeah, that was, yo, that was, those edibles kicked my too. ass. Hey. After that, I couldn't feel myself. I fell asleep and I woke up in the middle of the night. So What's that's going on, you know. guys? It's much later. It's a different time now. Um, I, I like, it was very early in the day. Um, in uh, um, Pacific time, it was like 6, 7 o'clock when I fell asleep. I should get to show you guys after I did what I did after the Malibu. Damn, this video is 43 minutes long. I don't know if we're going to watch the whole vlog. I don't, let me so see. after Malibu, I smoked a joint for the very first time. I smoked my very first Cali joint in, on Malibu Beach. On the Malibu Lagoon Beach, to be exact. And it's the vibes out there are so fucking nice. It's so fucking beautiful out there. I fucking recommend it. You know what I mean? I'm definitely going back out there right before I leave. You feel me? At least after a beach day or some shit. But, um, but... I didn't go back, but it was so fucking beautiful. I would go back. After I smoked a joint, I was so fucking high. You know, I chilled there for a little bit. Then I went to a dispo and got some edibles. 
and I, I'm pretty sure I showed you guys some of the edibles in the last clip. So those space gummies, yo, after I, I ate the entire thing, by the time I got, like, by the time I was close to my Airbnb, I was so fucking high as fuck. Like it kept kicking in and in and in, you know, very slowly for a hundred milligrams. It's like kind of insane, but you know, I'm not like when I got to the Airbnb. All I did is just went straight to bed and I just knocked the fuck out. You feel me? And I knocked out for like about four or five hours at least because I fell asleep like eight. So it's very very dark. So y'all can't hear him see me. But damn, I, I didn't. You know, um, I could have. Um, I could have used my back camera on the flash. That way you guys could see my face. Nice out here at night. You know, I didn't think about that back then. I mean, like so quiet and shit. Like I might find us another new smoke spot, but. It's so legal out here, so normally legal, like at the Malibu beach, you know, it was old people smoking at the beach, it was like grown grown people, they were like talking about openly Yo, word, like, I remember, it's so live here. now it's, it's coming live. back to my mind, I remember yeah, I mean, now. I guess I can call this my second day in LA, beginning of the second day in LA, but yo, this area is so fucking nice y'all, like I gotta show you guys, you feel me, like, the houses are mostly like this. Like, it's just one floor. It's like Franklin's house in GTA 5, kind of like that type of shit. Yeah, it's like GTA it's like 5 kind of vibes. And it's like mad and, uh, big Ladera and inside. Heights. If, you, if you guys want to know the neighborhood, that's Ladera Heights. Type shit. You know, I don't know. They're, it's mad interesting, you know. Like, that, they, most, all these houses around here are like Franklin's house type of vibe. You know, from Grand Theft Auto. You know what I mean? It's mad fucking lit. But right now it's like 2 a.m. Pacific time, so back home it's like 5 a.m. Eastern time, so early in the morning, but late at night in California. So <laughs> my sleep clock is pretty much a little bit all over the place, but that's all good. I can always catch up when I come back home because it's like three hours ahead of time towards where I'm at now, so it's not too bad. You feel me? So um, I didn't even get to show you guys the joint I smoked earlier. Um, let me see if I can find it in my pocket. Yes, I can. It is a West Coast Cure, West Coast Cure joints, and I got it's, this. is an indica. It was a wedding cake. This is from this is Bud Tender recommended uh, recommended strain. It, is, it has a sticker in the back. It shows you guys the THC percentage. You know, I said like that's how you know you're literally in California. You know, because you Word. have a sticker in the back and it shows you the dates and all that extra shit. Word. You know, I'll t I can tell you, I'll show you, uh oh. I'll tell you guys how my first dispo experience was. Like, the very, very first dispo I went to was Bedman. And the very first thing they do is ask for your ID. The lady asked my ID at the door. And then they scan it and ask if I want to sign up so I can get 50% off. And I'm like, hell yeah. So. Hell yeah. Did that and um, walked around. And the shop I went to was very small, you know, but it, 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 they had a lot of options, you know, a good amount of options there. So the first thing I wanted to get was a fucking dab. So I just went straight immediately. I actually butt tender. They're like, oh, what are you here for? I, like, I just like concentrate. So I'm here. I'm, 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 they're like, all right, but, you know, they walked me all the way to concentrate. And we were, and they, they're so cool. They had a computer, I mean, not a computer, like each concentrates had like an iPad session where you could just press the iPad and see which strains that are available and see like what you can get and shit. But um, I've gotten live rosin, you know, so it's gonna be fucking lit. I'm gonna be mad lit for a few days. And it's gonna last me way before until way before until i leave i was a very beginner dabber at this point like i did not i did not dab since like a couple years before like i brought i flew to la so i was a very beginner dabber and i i brought all of my pieces out in la too like i brought every like um dab equipment there too you know so i mean all i need is a better torch but I'm gonna, that's gonna be a project for tomorrow morning you know so but I'm gonna smoke a moon rock pre roll with you guys. Like this green moon rock pre roll I have is it has distillate, flour, and keef in it. So it should be a really good smoke. You know what I mean? Especially for a wake and bake. You feel me? So I don't know where I'm walking to, honestly. Like I don't know. I just like to walk without any destination, which is the most funnest part of vacation, honestly. But you know, 
on the next clip, I'm going to show you guys the Moonlock pre-roll once I go finally find a smoke spot. Okay, y'all, this is what the pre-roll looks like. It's a uh, pretty nice. Ooh, I missed that shit. Oh, Moonrock pre-roll. Here's the back of it. Manufactured. Y'all, that was amazing, y'all. The flavor. And it's one. And it was only like 20, 20 bucks before tax. And pre-roll. I'm excited. This is a nice wake and bake. Oh, good morning, guys. I'm now I'm awake. It's about almost 8 o'clock Pacific time. So it's about 11 Eastern time back in my home. So I'm walking to Dollar Tree just to grab a lot of food, you know, for breakfast, dinner, and shit like that. You know, and a little bit of munchies as well, you know. Just to last me for a few days because I don't want to eat out every single night. You know what I mean? So I'll see you guys when I'm in Dollar Yo, I, I, I was so cheap on this trip. I did not eat at a restaurant at all. But my last trip to L.A., I ate out every night. Like, there was not a moment where I sat at my Airbnb and just ate grocery food. No, I ate at a restaurant every night. I ate, like, at a random Chinese restaurant in Hollywood. I ate at a random Asian restaurant in downtown L.A. And I, I had some nice sushi in, in um, downtown L.A. as well. Yo, it was crazy on my last... It was my birthday, so I had to treat myself. Dollar Tree, I guess, or after Dollar Tree. I forgot to mention, after I smoked that Moon Rock joint, it was amazing, yo. Like, the high, if I can describe the high, it's much more of, like, an intense head high is how I felt, you know, and along with the soothing-ass body high where maybe I almost fell asleep on the grass, honestly. <laughs> I'm dead. That is actually yo, like, true. Yo, let me get up. And I just walked to my Airbnb, and I crashed. You feel me? So, that's it. All right, Dollar Tree, the one I went to is permanently closed, so now I'm in Ralph's, the grocery store, and grabbing some breakfast food, you know what I mean? This is, it could probably last me about three days throughout my trips, you know, so at least for the morning part, you know. All right, you guys, I decided to go on to the Hollywood Wolf of Fame. Right after I ate that breakfast, I took a couple of gram dab, well, not a gram dab, I'm sorry, I took a couple of dabs before I left, and I'm feeling pretty good, so I'm, I'm out to the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Damn, it was back those days when two dabs would get me feel good, especially rosin. That shit was good. And we out. Hopefully, I see some celebrities. That pizza was ten dollars. Guys, so I decided to come back to my Airbnb after the Hollywood Boulevard. I I forgot I didn't end up going to the Hollywood sign yet, but so far I just got back to drink. You know, I mean I drank this whole thing, so I'm already a little buzzed. But I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I drank, so you guys can understand exactly how I'm drunk I am. Okay, so this is exactly the. Uh, I wish I was I could get that drunk that easily nowadays. Not to mention, I rented, first time today, I've rented a freaking scooter, electrical scooter. Yo, this thing is so awesome. I miss those things. I gotta get one for myself, low key. You know, because it's so awesome. Right now, I'm heading to Dollar Tree because honestly, dinner, I still haven't brought any dinner food, you know, and or either Dollar Tree or, or um, Eastern time, it's like 7 30. 7:34, so it's probably like getting dark out there right out here it's like still sunny and nice you know what i mean like i don't know uh, time travel y'all uh, yeah as i take off my glasses it's like still still the middle of the day type of weather you know so you know what i mean you know i'm still waiting for, for the um transportation oh sorry it's coming right now so i'll say you guys want to go to the block uh, uh, dollar tree i'm sorry i'm drunk all right guys i went i got my <laughs> Groceries, you know, yeah. I was pretty heavy. I got a good amount of things, you know what I mean? Got a good amount of food. That'll definitely last me throughout the entire vacation, you know what I mean? Even if I get very hungry one night. So, it's no, and now I don't, I don't have to be as paranoid about food. I'm in the water, you know, because I've never touched the Pacific Ocean before. And I, and I went to the beach yesterday and I didn't hop into the water. I just went, I just chilled in the sand for a little bit. But this today or tonight, I'm just gonna, it's like 6.06 p.m. Well, right now it's like 6.06 p.m. 
Pacific time. Back home is like 9 p.m. So <laughs> it's like late at night back home. But out here, it's like still sunny as fuck. You know, I'm going to hurry up and catch this bus to go to the beach. You know what I mean? Hopefully bring back a little girl home. I don't know. Maybe. Let's see. A grown girl, 18, 19, 20. I mean, a girl. You feel me? <laughs> that sounded kind of wrong, but I said it. It's not, yeah, word. I even at that point, I'm like, oh shit, that's not okay. I don't know. I can go, but you know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean. So let's see what happens. Woo! Yo, I look nice. Yo, I miss those walks, y'all. Man, I can't wait till I like own an expensive car and then just to drive through this shit. That was crazy beautiful. I think that's Venice Beach. Yes, that is Venice Beach. Alright guys, I'm here to Venice Beach. Um, yeah, that's find Venice like Beach. a good spot, but I gotta I wanna change first because I dead ass wanna go in the water. But um I think that's a bathroom all the way down there. It's like a far ass walk. But honestly, fuck it, it's worth the it's worth the walk because I'm gonna hurry the fuck up. So from transportation I had to literally walk all the way to Venice Beach from like a couple miles. So not a couple miles, I was like a few blocks. Before it gets dark out. Alright guys, I just- I Oh my god, I remember this shit. Yo, I, I saw a stingray um, while walking out the water too, This was crazy. And at this point, oh yeah, I think I explained it in this clip. I, I got out of the water. I, was, I had no swimming trunks on, I just used, used my um, gym shorts, but... Hey guys, wanna hear something funny? I'm gonna tell you guys something that happened right before I recorded this video. So right before I got out of the water, uh, on the very last wave that hit me, my shorts almost went bye-bye! Cause that was the biggest wave that hit me of all time, but yo, the Pacific Ocean feels amazing, y'all. I saw- Yeah, word. Like, I had to hold on to my shorts so fucking tight the minute I felt that hard wave. Cause like, I, I, I and y'all, I'm telling y'all, I, 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 next time I did have swimming trunks on, but at that point, I'm like, nah, I'm always wearing swimming trunks. Cause dumb shits, you can like tie it up on you no matter like how hard the wave is. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm saying. I saw a stingray in the ocean, like right around I was walking out of the road. Like if that shit happened, I would be so screwed because there were like kids that were like feet, not not too far away from me. So I'm like, good, thank God. <laughs> oh, the water, I just casually just saw like a stingray just casually passing by me, you know? Yeah, that was true. <laughs> I mean, like it was mad big and everything. I'm like, yo, like actually, I, I think I felt one when I was in the water. Like I, I'm like, yo, I feel something weird, you know what I mean? Like I felt something that was wiggly and like, I don't know. It didn't sting me, surprisingly, so I wanted to touch it, but I was too paranoid to get sting, you know what I mean? But I'm gonna dry off. I might just stay out here a little bit longer and figure out what else happens from there, you know? Alright, y'all, Um, this is gonna be the last clip I'm gonna review. We're gonna do, this is gonna be a part one, because this is a very, very long vlog, and I feel like this video will be like an hour long, so let's, let, this is gonna be the last clip. Now, after the beach, I just went on the scooter to go all the way home instead of taking a bus, and I just got high and drunk immediately, I'm pretty sure. Alright, guys, I can't remember the last thing I recorded, but I'm, I'm feeling pretty good, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling pretty tired, you know, I'm, I'm so Oh yeah, I was smoking like two, three joints at that, um, sitting there. I had those tiny joints too that I brought from the dispensary that I wanted to try out. See if I can attempt to go to bed, but I'm gonna have to use the bathroom first, you know, but then I'm gonna try to see if I can go pretend to go to sleep, but yo, my eyes are all over the place. Boom. Okay, y'all, I'll see y'all in the next clip. All right, y'all, that's going to be the last one we're going to do. I hope you guys enjoy this type of, like, style of story time where I kind of go back to, like, the first, like, one of my vlogs and kind of explain the whole backstory behind it, damn near. You know what I'm saying? So this is going to be a part two right after this. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.